Asher. I'm Zane Asher. Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has introduced a bill giving full rights and protection to transgender people. Similar legislation failed over the past decade, but this time it is reportedly expected to pass. Mr. Trudeau's father, Pierre, was Canada's Prime Minister when homosexuality was decriminalized there back in 1969. Marnie Panas is transgender herself. She traveled all the way from Edmonton to the Canadian capital to be there today. So, Marnie, as a transgender woman yourself, just give us your reaction to this uh, bill that Trudeau is introducing. Well, thank you so much for having me today. We are so excited that we're finally here. My country has basically said that transgender people are welcome here, you belong here, and the government has your back. And it's a wonderful, wonderful feeling for transgender people. And you were actually um, there when the Justice Minister introduced the bill in the House of Commons. I believe we have a photo of that. Just, just explain to us what that experience was like for you, watching history potentially be made. Yeah, it was an incredible moment. I, I know that uh, this had happened before. We've had many bills that have come through before that have not, have not made it. And, but we're quite hopeful this time because it is our governing party that is actually introducing the bill. But to stand there and listen to our government talk about protecting transgender people, not only with our human rights, but also in our hate crimes laws, it's just an incredibly emotional moment that I think is uh, something that I'll remember forever. You know, I just want you to give our viewers a sense and just describe uh, your journey as a transgender woman. How much discrimination have you faced over the years? Yeah, you know, I've only completed my transition uh, uh, publicly in the last uh, couple of years, but it took me uh, most of my life to get over the fear of what society will react to me as a transgender woman. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, today, um, I... I uh, we're very blessed to live in a country that, that is very open and celebrating diversity. But it's something like I, I think every day that I go to a public washroom, is this the moment that I'm going to be assaulted in the washroom? Is this the moment wow. that I come out of, a, a, out of a space that somebody says that you don't belong here and because of who you are that, that violence will happen? We think about this daily and, mm -hmm. and that's not okay. But Marnie, can I just ask you what helped you get over that fear? Um, a great mental health support. I've got a lovely family. I've got a beautiful wife and a lovely child that has really given me the strength to, to be myself and to live authentically. I've got a, a wonderful employer that has really embraced diversity and has supported me. A great group of friends. Um, I'm blessed because I do have many privileges, but it's also a reminder that many don't have those privileges. Many struggle without, without jobs, without health care, without mm -hmm. supporting parents, and that's a, that's a real problem. And I just have to get your perspective, because obviously, as you know, there is a debate raging in North Carolina right now over yeah. transgender people using public restrooms. When you see that unfolding in the U.S., what do you make of that? What's your reaction? It's scary because what, what's happening is that a lot of people are affected, not only transgender people, but people who aren't trans. What they're suggesting is that if you don't look girl enough or if you don't look man enough to use each of the facility, then you don't belong there. And that the violence that, that could incite is, is incredibly scary. I am quite worried where that will, will, will take people. Um, you know, there's a lot of myths, and, and the, the reality is that the person more likely to be raped, assaulted, or murdered in a public mm -hmm. washroom is me, a transgender woman. It would almost be like, I mean, here's what's happening in the U.S., it would be like you being told that you have to use the men's bathroom. I mean, can you imagine being yes. told that? Yeah. Um, I can be imagined that because I have been told such a thing. Mm. And could you imagine looking at me, how safe I'd feel in a, in a male washroom? Or, or if you have transgender males who are very clearly males and, and are bulked up and have their you know, ha have facial hair in a, in a girl's washroom, that's also what they're saying, and it doesn't make sense. You know, there was a time when, when they didn't let people of color in certain washrooms. Really, the only thing that's changed is the sign above the door. Wow, that is a very powerful uh, statement. It, reminded, it reminds me of what Loretta Lynch said uh, just about a week ago. Marnie Panis, thank you so much for coming on CNN and sharing your story. I appreciate that. It's a real pleasure. Thank you so much. Of course.